Welcome to IntelPad Microsoft Excel eLearning from IntelPad and today I'm going to be your e-trainer for Microsoft Excel. In today's chapter one, I'll be taking you through what Microsoft Excel is all about and some details about why Excel is used, what is the main features of Excel. In getting started with Microsoft Excel, you will learn how to save an Excel, how to start an Excel if required, how do you give a password just in case you have some sensitive data which you're working on customizing a quick access toolbar which is very useful when you're working on microsoft excel and in case you need some help if i'm not available where do you go in microsoft excel a little bit more in details about uh, how an excel experiences what are the new features compared to the older versions of uh, uh, excel which is 2003 and moving on to 2007 excel and above the structures on the new experience which is ribbon menu some changes in the worksheet what is the cell what is columns and rows and so on so in chapter one it is basically giving you an overview of what microsoft excel is all about and understanding why excel used and what all you can do about it so i hope you're ready to learn good then let's understand what exactly microsoft excel is now, as much as you have heard about it, uh, I'm sure everywhere you go, you would be hearing or being asked, uh, do you know Excel? How familiar are you when using Excel? Are you comfortable or so on? Well, yes, Microsoft Excel is extensively used across the world and it is a very, very powerful tool or a, a format spreadsheet which helps us to analyze data. When you use this data analyze it and then you could come up with the graphs charts uh, use a huge amount of data and then break it down into small parts which you can share it for your own use let me just give you a simple example let's take you are resided in a country and then in country you have the num a lot of people living right and the people are living in different different states so what if you want to really go ahead and see in a state, in a particular city in that state, how many people want to be there? Now, of course, if you have got the complete list of people, you need to store it somewhere, right? And that's where the spreadsheet comes into. So with that spreadsheet, you have all the data and with some Excel functionalities such as sorting, etc., you can break it down to that particular state and to go to that city and see the number of people living there. So that's how huge amount of data can be broken down into the way you want it to be and use it for your reference. That's an advantage of Microsoft Excel. Um, it is basically the way the Excel is designed is uh, it's a spreadsheet. It uses a grid of cells arranged in rows and columns. And as you will learn in the further classes, the rows are actually numbered and the columns are lettered. Using this combination, you could use multiple functions which are available in Excel. Uh, it can be statistical, basic mathematical function, or more complex uh, engineering functions, financial functions, etc. And use that to analyze the data, create graphs, histograms, charts, interpret it using functions, etc. And help that help those data to be used in the way you want few of the main features which is being used in Excel, which I'm sure you have heard or if not, you will see in the coming chapters is data analysis, a simple way of creating a graph and calculation. Again, I'll take the example of the city, number of people in a city or a particular state. I can use the data, form a graph of the number of people staying in a particular state and then send it to my government if they want to see it. So that's how Excel can be used and this is a little bit overview of Excel. Moving on, what else is Excel all about? Now, uh, like the way I told, right, Excel is a huge, huge, huge software and there are multiple features available. The features are extensive and it is at the first time you open up Excel, it will be like you're overwhelmed with all that is available. So it's important you understand how to navigate Excel. Without the basic understanding of navigation, you'll be lost. So what I want to show you here is how do you actually start an Excel? How do you save an Excel? How do you customize Excel for your own benefit? And again, like the way I told, if you need some help, how do you get that? So let's quickly open up an Excel. 
So for opening Excel, what I do is I go to my Windows menu or in this case I'm using a Windows 7 so I click on the Windows button. I have a list of programs. Now I use Excel quite often and that's why you can see that Microsoft Excel is displayed over here. However, if you do not, you just go into your start and st type in Microsoft Excel. So as soon as you do that, you have all your programs for Microsoft available. So in this, now let me click on Microsoft Excel. And here you go, your first view of an Excel in case you haven't. So this is how Microsoft Excel looks. Now talking about what is that I want to show you over here, first thing is let me see how I need to open and save an Excel. So we just saw how we start an Excel. We just went to Windows menu, we opened it up and an Excel came up. Now let's take I do something. I have worked on this particular Excel. Just for this example stake, uh, I will just put some numbers over here so that I can save this. And I'll call it Mondays. Uh, sorry, just let me name this as days and data. So I'm just putting some random numbers so that I can save it. Yeah, so let's just leave it at here. Now with this data, I want to save this Excel. So how do I do that? Again, very simple, so something which we have seen again and again in Microsoft Excel. You, you can go either hit a Control S, which will take you to the Save Has menu, or you can click on the Windows menu again. And I, in that, you have a lot of options, which are Save, Save As. And just to remind you, save is to save an existing workbook. Save as is the first time when you use to save a workbook. So now, since it's the first time I've opened this, I'm just going to use save as and click on that. You choose a path where you want to save it. So for now, I'll just keep it as desktop. You want to go to your personal folders or with personal drives, wherever you want to save this file, you can do so. Now, important thing which I want to show you over here while you're saving in Excel is basically this small tab called tools over here. Now the reason this is very useful is because when you actually click on this, you can see some options, right? So here you have an option called general options. Let me click on that and show you what it does. So in general option, you have two things. You can always create a backup in case you know you're working on huge files and you don't want to lose it that's when the backup comes very handy password to open or modify files now the difference between these two is if you put a password to open that means every time you click on this particular saved file you need to keep a password to open that file password to modify is pretty simple it is in case you just want people to open and only see it but do not want to modify you want the, it to be restricted any modification any data which you have entered in the excel you don't want people to modify that's when you put a password to modify now this option is only available when you're saving the excel for the first time yes there is some more versions of it when we look at workbook uh, uh, changes and how do you protect your workbook but then most importantly when you're saving this excel for the first time this is the option which people generally tend to ignore so why i'm showing this to you today at this beginning is because sometimes excel is used to work on sensitive data right and that time it's very important that you restrict the access of that particular spreadsheet by using password to open or password to modify according to what your convenience is but then this is something you could use basis what you're working on and the sensitivity of the data and it is only available when you're saving it for the first time but i'm just going to give an a name for this file telling it's my first excel and save it in my desktop there you go you can clearly see on top that it is saved as my first excel dot xls that was all about how you open an excel how you save it and in case i want to review it you could just close this by using this small xbox and go back to your desktop and here it is, your My First Excel saved on your desktop.
let me click that again because we need to show you a few other things all right so moving on now you know how to open an excel save an excel but then as you can see there are a host of tabs or menu options available in excel you can see there is home insert page layout formula data so on and you can see these sheets you have some rows and columns different numbers different letters what are all these question well it is very simple that's the format or the way of excel is organized what you can see over here which is home insert page layout formulas data etc are called as tabs and they are grouped together with something called as ribbons the commonly used features are grouped together under each of the tabs and called as ribbon what you see here with an fx is nothing but a, a formula bar and here in if i go to home tab and you see the small arrow pointing out here and if i can just go to it it shows right that's called a dialog box launcher and a lot of common com command uh, buttons which you can see over here we'll learn about all these a little bit more detail as we visit all these tabs but importantly the main main important feature of an excel is your worksheet area now this is your worksheet area i'll just highlight that just for your reference so all this cells is your worksheet area talking about cell what is a cell a cell is nothing but a combination of a row and a column so here you can see all these columns a b c are the columns are represented by letters and the rows are represented by numbers now the combination of a row and column is what is called as cell now if you want to know what is the cell references you can go here which is the name box and you can see a1 which nothing but a implies that it is in the column a and one row a so small question for you let me just move this to this particular cell let me highlight this cell so can any one of you or who's listening to this video can tell me what is the cell reference if your answer is j11 then you're absolutely right you can see that j is highlighted over here 11 is highlighted over here the cell is actually in j11 so good few other features of excel which you need to know here the blue bar where you can see ready and you have the small dot is nothing but a status bar now the status bar is important because it keeps telling what exactly excel is doing if you're working on complex formula it will keep telling you whether it's working it's caught it is stuck etc and that's why the status bar is important and we spoke about file menu ribbon formula etc right another important thing in excel which you can see is your formula bar you will see more usage of this as we go to other chapters okay now we saw excel we understand the structure um, we have a few other things uh, about it um, one thing which i'm sure you would be already thinking about is what are these tabs what does these tabs do you have home tab you have insert tab page layout etc right what exactly are the functionality of these tabs now i'll just go to one of these tabs let's see if you're able to understand let me just click on this insert tab and with simple understanding of the insert text itself you know it is to insert something so as soon as i click on this insert tab you have different ribbons coming up right so can you see a pattern can you understand what exactly it is showing up good here you are great so if i have to take this charts as an example so under this insert tab it basically telling that you can insert a lot of charts and if i go to say page layout tab under the page layout you have different different ribbons doing different set of works so i have themes ribbon so themes ribbon is basically you can set colors fonts effects so on 
and you have page set up. So basically you're setting up the page for printing, your size, your texture, etc. And so these tabs are very important. So in 2003, these ribbons options were not available, but since 2007, these ribbon options make it very user friendly and very easy for you to navigate across. So let's just quickly review what are these tabs and hopefully that information should give us a good head start on what lessons are going to come. So under the home tab, this tab we use when creating, formatting and editing a spreadsheet. Uh, and you can see it is arranged in clipboard, font, alignment, numbers, style, etc. Okay, so you have an understanding of home tab. What does insert do? So under the insert tab, use this when you're adding a particular element. Example, graphics, pivot chart, table, charts, hyperlinks, headers and footers, all that which you can see here. But you'll see the functionality of these as we go on. And these are mainly arranged in table, illustration, charts, links, text, etc. Moving on, page layout. So use this tab when preparing a spreadsheet for printing or reordering the graphics on the sheet. And again, uh, some people who use Excel extensively for creating graph use this tab more. But people like me who use this more for from a point of just analyzing data and that's when we don't use this more formulas one of my favorite tabs this tab is used when we are adding formulas functions using uh, checking worksheets for formula errors and anything to do with formula mathematical function that's when i come here excellent usage of data is what excel is known for and that's where data tab comes you will see a lot we will be working on the data table uh, data tab a lot and basically you can do any kind of sorting using these tabs so this is good enough information to start with i hope home insert page layout formula and data and you have multiple other tabs as well and uh, we will get to there when it is required but for you since this is the first chapter this i hope gives you a little bit understanding of what excel is the structures and the usage of tabs a question for you you can see there are three sheets here right so you have sheet one sheet two and sheet three why do we have so many sheets no idea very simple sometimes you need to use multiple sheet to come to a conclusion like I told, right, in my first example, let's take, I have the sheet one where I have all the data of my complete country. Sheet two, I've broken this data of only my state and basically sheet three, data of my city only. So having multiple sheets can help me to analyze data better. And do you know whether you can add more sheets or not? Or is it only limited to three sheets? No, you can add multiple sheets as much as you want. So to do that, you just have to come here, click on this small tab and you can see sheet four is added. We spoke about status bar. This is basically your scroll bar. And then here you can see that you can zoom out of Excel according now it's, it's basically zoom into less column width or more column width or keep it to 100%. This basically is some features about Excel. So just to refresh, what have we learned till now? We saw how we could open up an Excel. 